Welcome to The Succulent Home with me, Melissa. I'm so glad you clicked on this channel because if you did, then that means you are a succulent and cacti lover like myself and you enjoy home decor. You also love being a part of a community that encourages one another in each other's faith in their personal relationship through Christ Jesus. So welcome. And for those of you who are new to my channel, thank you. Thank you for being a part of it. Um, the Succulent Home is not just about potting. It's all those things that I told you about, which means it's a lifestyle. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it is Faith in Succulents, no longer um, the Succulent Home, only because I was hacked. So I won't get into it because you guys pretty much know that story. But if you're new, yes, it got hacked. So go to Faith in Succulents and know that the Succulent Home on Instagram is no longer being ran by me. And yes, if you comment, Instagram was no help. Their service, ugh, their customer service, let's just say there was no service, just a customer, me. <laughs> anyway, so today I'm gonna do a potting video. Look at how tanned I look, can you tell? I don't wanna get so distracted, but your girl just got back from vacation. If you haven't checked out that video, go check that out. I took you along with the succulent home in Kauai and um, showed you some of the adventures that the succulent home took. And um, so if you haven't seen that, go check that out. And that is why your girl is so tanned and I'm feeling it. I love summertime, I love spring. It is the time where the birds are chirping and the sun is shining and the rainbows are coming right after the rain. So I definitely love um, this new season that we're in and our succulents, if you haven't noticed, are doing really great right now. Um, okay, so moving on today's video, you're gonna see a pot with me and um, I have a lot of new succulents that I got that I have not pot up. I got them for um, Valentine's Day, I got them for my birthday and they're still in their nursery um, containers and I can't wait. Go get your stuff because I don't like to pot by myself. So go get your pot, go get your succulent, go get your cacti and let's just pot up together because that's what we do here. We do things together okay so come on come on keep it moving oh can't forget i'm gonna be wearing my the succulent home apron okay we're in it i'm all set up as you can see i have this aphorbia right here don't know the exact name it was a gift for valentine's day i'm gonna pot it in this pot right here i'm gonna continue to do my research on this one if you know exactly the name of this aphorbia please don't hesitate to leave a comment below Engage with me, that's how I learn and I continue to grow and develop this green thumb of mine. Also, I got this one too. I just picked this one up from one of the local nurseries. It's another Euphorbia. This is just a, so cute. I love it. It looks so sea creature under the sea, in the ocean, something that would be growing. Um, let me know in the comments below too, if you know exactly what the name of this one is. This did not have a name on it and I am so curious. Um, I'm gonna keep doing my research too so I can know. This right here, I believe is the, I could be wrong, but I wanna say any. it's a kiwi succulent a kiwi something please comment below let me know this actually was in another part of my succulent garden it was in the the wood um the wood tier garden area i'll show you it's like those box the wood box um rectangles that i potted up so this was going successful in it but i'm going to pot it up in an individual pot so it can get all of its own recognition. I have my tools on the side. I'm gonna be using this to scoop up my soil. I have this if I need it to help cut some of the, so the root bound soil. And I also have my um, little tweezers if I need to use them so I don't get any, um, you know, if it's easy to get in there when I'm doing this. Also, I do not use gloves. That is one reason why I don't usually get my nails done because I'm so in the dirt and hands-on. This is the little pot that I'm gonna do for this Euphorbia. I'm actually gonna take, this was from the dollar, um, the $5 and below spot from Target. I'm gonna go ahead and take the drainage um, plug out 
because I do want it to have drainage. Isn't that cute? So cute. It was $3. I got it a while ago. I've been putting off a lot of stuff because of everything that I've been having going on with travel. I'm using the Kellogg's um, Palm and Citrus Soil. It's at Lowe's. I always grab a bag of that, so I always have that around the house. But that's the one that I like using. It's so good to be back in my garden. We've had so much travel, you guys. So much travel with my little girl schedule and just work. It's just really hard to get out here when all you have is the weekends, you know, or evening times. Um, so I'm going to break this up at the bottom. You can do that as well if you want to. I'm just going to try to be careful. Okay. As you can see, the roots pretty long right there. I just thought this was so unique, so different. And I love finding new specimens that are so like unique and different and like one of a kind to my particular um, succulent and cacti garden or collection. It's always nice to have a different tools that you can use. So like this is a little, it's a littler, smaller version of a scooper so that I can get real close to the specimen. And you could always use the other side to help pack, pack the soil in. You can find these tools on Amazon. I'm gonna put an Amazon store together, hopefully. Hopefully I can figure that out before this video even goes up. So I can put the link in the description box below. I, as I said in the earlier video today, I have gotten a real great tan from being on vacation and um, I love to tan. I know a lot of people say it's not good for you, um, but I do believe that vitamin D naturally, directly from the sun is more beneficial as far as your health and your energy and your immune system. It's, it's better than the supplement itself, okay? But I, too much sun, you know, too much of anything could be detrimental, so. I get it. So I'm gonna just pack it down. Potting and making arrangements is like medicine to my soul, you guys. This is why we do what we do. Just the relaxation, the peace. Getting outside, putting your hands in dirt, learning something new. I've been reading this new book, too, on... Um, your the power of your brain and your thoughts and a lot of it is stuff you know already that you've heard along the way but i like this book because it combines it proves that it the word of god and science combined as far as um it being confirmed in the word about your your mind and, and how the thoughts um contribute to your health, your well-being, and it has scriptures in there. And it just, it's just really a good book. It was very insightful. I'll have to um, take a picture of it at the end of this video to show you. 
Look at that. Is that not cute? I just feel like this pot was like the cutest for this little specimen right here. Again, comment below so that I can figure out what this is. What is the name of that? So we'll go ahead and put that one off to the side as I work on number two. This one already had soil in it because I did have something else in here. But I'm going to go ahead and why don't I... I'm going to very so gently... Ooh, it's packed in here. Oh, I don't want to squeeze it too hard. Yay, yay. It's packed in here pretty dang good. You almost hate ha taking them out of these things, too. Let me just go ahead and just get one of my gloves. It's, I'm going to need it. Look at how root bound this is. So it's probably good that I found this or that I'm doing it now because that is so nothing. Lots of pumice, lots of well, well draining soil. Look at that. So tells me that, and look at how gorgeous it is. So it tells me that this particular specimen loves well drainage soil. So I'm going to go ahead and mix what we got together in here. Mix this soil all around. It's a beautiful color. In Long Beach, I think coming up soon, they're supposed to do like a cactus, um, cactus and succulent like fair or something like that. Trying to get these roots to to sit real low, going down. I think that that's good. Such a gorgeous specimen. I think it looks good against the terracotta color of the pot. Very much so. I'm going to just continue to pack it in. Pack it in there. I'm actually going to be doing a top dressing on this one. Still giving me, like the other one, under the sea. Under the sea. Like mood. Just love that. Trying to see if there's cobwebs or something on here. If there is, oh yeah, see, cobweb. 
Well, if there was a spider on here, at least I know that it's trying to eat whatever might be on here. So I'm going to use the seashell. Let me make sure it's it's equal on every side. So that's beautiful. So I would probably display it. Let me see. Yeah, like this. Yeah. That's how I would display it. Just like. These crushed seashells will look great. The only thing about when you do top dressing, and I've said it before, I've said it a lot actually, is that when you water them, your arrangements, you just have to be light with the watering as far as pressure at one time because all of the soil and the top dressing ends up getting all dirty and ugly. You could always find good top dressing, different, unique, beautiful colors like Michael's. Uh, there's always a good selection there um, with stones and different seashells and different kinds of rocks and different colors. So if you're getting bored and you want to try something new in your arrangements, try top dressing. You don't have to have fancy pots, but a nice top dressing really does. Um, elevate your arrangements also if you don't if you don't know on Instagram there is succulents 23 and that channel or that IG is ran by Robert uh, a man named Robert and he's been doing some amazing succulent arrangements um, he also does sell them I'll go ahead and put that in the description box below but go ahead and give him a shout out Go give him a follow. Let him know that Melissa from the Succulent Home um, sent you there. But I think that would really be something that you would be interested to look at because they really are beautiful. And if you want to purchase one, um, you can go ahead and do that through him. I think he has a website too. I'm not quite sure. Okay. Just trying to clean up some of those cobwebs. I'm also going to add uh, maybe a big seashell right there. I think in one of my videos earlier, um, I showed you this from a Goodwill haul that I have. Just gonna see, maybe nothing too big because it's not that big of a pot. So there you go, we're down with that one. Let's put this off to the side now. I didn't do a top dressing on here because I'm gonna see how this does before I add any kind of top dressing to that one. So sorry if that one's not as appealing as the other ones. Okay, last 
but not least. Let me just assess this real quick. Maybe I need to clean it up a little bit. Let me feel like I do. Okay. So in here you could see really close, there is some dead leaves. This is what makes these little tools so beneficial when you're trying to get into those little tight places. It helps you get in there without <laughs> causing any damage. <coughs> I think I got some soil debris in my throat. mess but that's okay. Clean this up here. Okay. I'm gonna put a little rock just at the bottom where that hole is so all the soil doesn't escape as the years go by. I don't want it to sit too high. I would prefer it to sit low. So I'm going to not put too much soil towards the surface in, before I set it in. So if you want it to sit lower, then don't pack it with so much soil before you set it in. This is going to be the front. Okay, now I'm gonna go look to see what top dressing I would like to put on that one. I think I'm gonna do these little different color blue rocks. I always like these. You could always get these at the Dollar Tree. Our hobbies don't have to be cost too much. Oh, sorry about that. But 
if you're anything like me, I end up like buying. I mean, it all adds up at the Dollar Tree anyways, right? So, when you get 30 things, then before you know it, you're like, oh. And they're all just like little things. I'm also going to do what I have left from the sea glass that you can also pick up from the Dollar Tree. Because it's matching with the um, little marbles, or if you will, I'm going to put these in the back because it couldn't. I didn't have enough to go all the way around. Do you see? So we'll do a little mix. This one's actually a top dressing that's easy to um, use and water your arrangements because there's lots of see how like different water can go down easier like that so it's perfect just enough just enough maybe I'll do one more right here because I see a little empty spot looks cute and there you go that's you have it let me show you in a better view and there you go you guys look at how beautiful don't forget to comment below let me know what these ones are It'll cut down some of my research time. We did it. That's what we did. We did those together. Email me or DM me. Let me know or let me see what you potted along with me. Well, until the next video, you guys, God bless. Bye.